My name is Miriam. I am 18 years old, and I'm excited to be a senior in high school this year. So we're today going to learn about the structure of government. I use my communication device to talk to people. I can talk to anybody I want, and I love it. Miriam has CP, or cerebral palsy, and uh, she has had that since birth. I was told immediately after she was born, your daughter has suffered a massive hit. We don't know if she'll make it through the night. We believe that she'll be blind. She'll probably have seizures her whole life, and she won't be able to walk. I mean, it was just like everything all at once, you know. One thing Miriam does, she works very hard, and it's like, she knows what she wants, and she will work very hard to get it, and she does not take no for an answer. I remember it was some assignment in middle school where she had to like list adjectives to describe herself, and the first one she wrote down was powerful. And I just thought, man, how different would my life have been if I would have believed that I was powerful in middle school, you know? <laughs> She loves people. She loves making friends. She loves being seen. She loves being the center of attention. She wants to be known. She wants to be heard. She is amazing. It's like a huge privilege to be her mother. I love Miriam in my class because I think the other students see there is nothing holding her back because she happens to be in a wheelchair and she happens to use a communication device. All of that sort of disappears and then she's just another human integrated into our classroom. She can do everything everyone else can do, she just does it in a different modality. Miriam first got her eye gaze, I think when she was in fourth grade through the school district and we had no instruction really how to use it at all. And it is a learning curve but Provail has been totally instrumental in being able to access that device. I can't imagine life now without it. I know she couldn't because as soon as she gets up in the morning, that's what she wants to do. <laughs> I guess like every other kid nowadays. Yeah, it's given her a connection to the world that wasn't there before. I want people to know about me that I am a funny, smart, kind person. And I love spending time with people. And I'm a good friend. We all carry around like this expectation that everybody is going to talk the same and achieve things at the same time, at the same pace. In the disabled community, that expectation isn't there. And it's like the only time I've ever really seen people be fully accepted celebrated and welcomed exactly as they are. We've made so much progress in the last several years in particular when it comes to diversity, equity, inclusion, but still to this day, this is one community that's often left out of these conversations. Individuals with disabilities, they don't have struggles in our world because of their disability. It's because we haven't given them the access that they need and deserve. Any one of us could wake up one day needing ProVail services. This is one demographic that we could be a part of at any time. It's so important to get involved, ask questions, say hi to someone with a disability. We need to come together. We need to be a part of the solution because then together we will all grow. People with disabilities have a right to be a part of the community. They have a right to be there. They have a right to live life according to their own choices. And that's the beauty of the work that we do at ProVail, is creating opportunities for the community to be complete and to have all of the differences and all of the unique aspects that every person brings to be present and have a place. Organizations like ProVail need to be here in order to create those pathways to inclusion, to open those doors, and ensure that people with disabilities have the right to make their own choices and be present in the community. I wish people who can talk would talk to everyone. Don't leave anyone out, because everyone has something to learn from everyone they meet, if they are disabled or not.